Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome on back to another reaction video. If you have no idea who I am, my name is Sam, aka the OG Bojangles. I'm a streamer over on Twitch four days a week, but on Fridays and Tuesdays I post first time movie reaction videos, and that's what this is. As a lot of you know, we've been kind of chugging along with this Robin Williams train, and again, we are continuing to do so. I feel like a lot of you have been waiting for this one. But here we are, I am watching Dead Poet Society. As per usual with all my videos, I have no idea what's gonna happen. Definitely with this one too. No idea. So I don't really have much to say about this film other than the fact that I feel like it's probably one of Robin Williams' more well-known films, maybe? At least that's what it seems like from what you guys are saying. Nonetheless, I'm very excited to get started with this one. So let's jump on into it, shall we? As per usual, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for your support. And to those of you over on Patreon, I really appreciate y'all too. Thank you so much for being over there, and thank you for your support over there as well. And if you wanted to watch the full and edited reaction to this movie or to any of the other movies that I've watched on this channel, you can actually do so on my Patreon and it's $5 a month for that. So yeah, I'm pretty much ready to go with watching this film and I hope that you guys enjoy this reaction to Dead Poet Society. Let's get started here and I shall see you on the other side. Enjoy. Oh, let's see how this goes. Also, I, I'm sorry if I sound a little stuffy. I'm getting, I think I'm getting a small cold. I thought this was like a funeral at first, or something. I, I don't think it is. I don't think it is a funeral, but kind of gives those vibes a bit. It's a cult. No. Out of each semester. Oh my God, Red Foreman. What are the four pillars? Oh wow. Tradition, honor, discipline, excellence. Cult. This is why we are the best preparatory school. Ah. In the okay. Prep school. Got it. Our beloved Mr. Porteous of the English department retired last term. You will have the opportunity later to meet his replacement, Mr. John Keating, himself an honors graduate. Robert Williams. Oh, God, he looks so young. I know this is 1989, so he's definitely young here. You have some big shoes to fill, young man. Your brother was one of our finest. Thank you. No pressure or anything, but uh, your brother was pretty good. Thank you. I don't want to go here. <laughs> Hey, I heard you got the new kid. Looks like a stiff. <laughs> Oops. Nice, dude. How's your summer, Slick? Keen. <laughs> Makes door close. Smart, rich Smart. boys. Oh, God. Oh. It's open. Nice. I think that you're taking too many extracurricular activities this semester, and I've decided that you should drop school annual. But I'm the assistant editor this year. Wow. Father, I can't. It wouldn't be fair. Fellas. What? Us for a moment. You're taking too many extracurriculars, so I'm going to choose the thing that you're going to drop. I don't like that. I know it's old school, but you still. You never dispute me in public. You understand? Father, I wasn't disputing after you. After you finished medical school and you're on your own, then you can do as you damn well oh, please. God. But until then. Oh, no. <laughs> this is no, not going to be good. So what are you going to do then? What I have to do. Drop the annual. I don't care. I don't give a damn about any of it. Uh, yeah. Well, uh... Doubtful. Latin? This absolutely makes me not miss school in any capacity at all. Uh, <laughs> it's about to get fun. I think. I hope. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, goodbye. Well, come on. Uh... Oh, Captain, my Captain. Who knows where that comes from? It's from a poem by Walt Whitman about Mr. Abraham Lincoln. Now, in this class, you can either call me Mr. Keating, or if you're slightly more daring, Oh, Captain, my Captain. Everyone's like, what? <laughs> Will you open your hymnal to page 542? The virgins to make much of time? Yes. That's the one. <laughs> Somewhat appropriate, isn't it? <laughs> Gather ye rosebuds while ye may. Gather ye rosebuds while ye may. The Latin term for that sentiment is carpe diem. That to cease the day. Why does the writer use these lines? Because he's in a hurry. No. Ding. Thank you for playing anyway. Each and every one of us in this room is one day going to stop breathing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Thanks forward. for reminding me. You've walked past them many times. I don't think you've really looked at them. They're not that different from you, are they? Except the hair. Except the haircuts. Uh, 
They believe they're destined for great things, just like many of you. Their eyes are full of hope. But if you listen real close, you can hear them whisper their legacy to you. Hmm. Good advice. All right, who's up for a trick study group tonight, guys? Sure. Me. I can't make it, guys. I have to have dinner at the Danbury's house tonight. Can I help you? Mrs. Danbury? No. Oh, my God. I'm Mrs. Danbury. Uh, you must be Knox. Yes. Back by nine. Got very excited. Please, come on. How are you? Joe Danbury. Nice to meet you, sir. Well, he's a spitting image of his father, isn't he? <laughs> hey, How was dinner? Terrible. I met the most beautiful girl I have ever seen in my entire life. AKA this week. To Chet Danbury. You got to get football. A girl this beautiful in love with such a jerk. All the good ones go for jerks. You know that. Yeah, forget her. Did you see her naked? Oh <laughs> my <funny>. god. <laughs> Gentlemen, open your text to page 21 of the introduction. To fully understand poetry, we must first be fluent with its meter rhyme and figures of speech if the poem score for perfection is plotted on the horizontal of a graph and its importance is plotted on the vertical then calculating the total area of the poem yields the measure of its greatness huh. excrement that's what i think of mr j evans pritchard how can you describe uh, poetry like oh american bandstand now i want you to rip out that page rip it out oh my god just oh, drawing rip it boobs out. Rip, shred, tear, rip it out. Wow. I want to hear nothing but ripping of Mr. Pritchard. Not the Bible. You're not going to go to hell for this. <laughs> uh oh. What's going on here? I don't hear <laughs> enough rips. Mr. Keating. Oh, God. Alistair. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know you were here. Excuse me. Okay, bye. Keep going, gentlemen. Now, my class, you will learn to think for yourselves again. Words and ideas can change the world. And medicine, law, business, engineering, these are noble pursuits and necessary to sustain life. But poetry, beauty, romance, love, these are what we stay alive for. That life exists and identity. That the powerful play goes on and you may contribute a verse. What will your verse be? He always has such good moments. <laughs> that was a good moment. He's just gonna keep giving him weird looks. <laughs> Quite an oh, interesting boy. class you gave today, Mr. Keating. Oh, uh, here we go. Shocked you, Mr. you take a big risk by encouraging them to become artists, John. When they realize that they're not Rembrandts, Shakespeare's, or Mozart's, they'll hate you for it. We're not talking artists, George. We're talking free thinkers. <laughs> free thinkers at 17. <laughs> Funny. I never pegged you as a cynic. <laughs> a realist. Ah, uh, cynic. He's good at every role he plays. Like, everything. Captain of the soccer team, editor of the school annual, Cambridge bound, thigh man, and thigh the Dead Poets Society. Man? The Dead Poets Society. Man most likely to. What's the Dead Poets Society? I don't know. Picture in the AM? No. Nothing, no other mention. Sir? <laughs> Say something. Oh, Captain, my Captain? <laughs> Gentlemen. <laughs> What's the Dead Poets Society? Can you keep a secret? The Dead Poets were dedicated to sucking the marrow out of life. See, we would gather at the old Indian cave and take turns reading from Thoreau, Whitman, Shelley, the biggies, even some of our own verse. And in the enchantment of the moment, we'd let poetry work its magic. We didn't just read poetry. We let it drip from our tongues. Spirits soared, women swooned, and gods were created, gentlemen. Not a bad way to spend an evening, eh? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Perry, for this stroll down Amnesia Lane. Burn oh, my that. God. Burn my that. <laughs> Dead Poets Society. We're going to recreate it. <laughs> I say we go tonight. Where's this cave he's talking? It's beyond the stream. I know where it is. We can't get caught. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> Your boy's there! Oh, my Hurry God. Up! Who's in? I'm in. Me too. Speaks, your grades hurting too? I'll try anything once. <laughs> Except sex. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm in as long as we're here. Todd, you coming tonight? No. Keating said that everybody took turns reading. And I don't want to do that. I wonder why. I don't want to do it, okay? All right. Oh, there's a reason. What's the reason? What if you didn't have to read. What if you just came and listened? 
the in... freaking kazoo. Oh, oh my God. Cut out that racket in there. <laughs> Good luck trying to get out. Five centuries of verse. Ah, dead poets. This is very interesting. I, I did not expect it to go down this route, but I mean, I still don't know what's exactly happening, but like, you know, <laughs> so far. Uh oh. Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god. Yes, Jesus. <laughs> Can they be any louder? Jesus. I hereby reconvene the Dead Poets Society. Yay! <laughs> Yay! I went to the woods because I wanted to live deliberately. I wanted to live deep and suck out all the marrow of life. I'll second that. <laughs> to put to rout all that was not life, and not when I had come to die, discover that I had not lived. All right, intermission. Dig deep right here. Raisins? Yeah. Wait a minute. I love how intermission was immediate. You want to hear a real poem? Oh boy. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Boobies. Then I had religion. Then I'm I glad had a vision. That... I could not turn from their revel in derision. Then I saw the Congo creeping through the black. Cutting through the forest with a golden trap. Cutting through the forest with a golden trap. Then I saw the Congo. There are a bunch of nuts. <laughs> Oh my god, the mouth harp! Oh my god. I'm glad that they're appreciating poetry, though. Or anything close to it, like this. <laughs> Language was developed for one endeavor, and that is... Mr. Anderson, come on, are you a man or an amoeba? Hmm. Perry. They were going to be talking about William Shakespeare. Now, many of you have seen Shakespeare done very much like this. Oh, Titus. <laughs> But if any of you have seen Mr. Marlon Brando, no, that Shakespeare can be different. France, Romans, countrymen, <laughs> than me or ass. I do enjoy a good dog once in a while, sir. <laughs> you can have yourself a three-course meal from one dog. Oh, my God. Start with your canine crudite, go to your Fido Flambe for main course, Fido and for dessert, Flambe. a parfait. <laughs> Why do I feel like this is a, uh, an imp improvised scene? Why do I stand up here? Anybody? Feel taller. No. Thank you for playing, Mr. Dalton. I stand upon my desk to remind myself that we must constantly look at things in a different way. Come see for yourselves. Come on. Just when you think you know something, you have to look at it in another way. Even though it may seem silly or wrong, you must try. Boys, you must strive to find your own voice. Because the longer you wait to begin, the less likely you are to find it at all. Now, in addition to your essays, I would like you to compose a poem of your own, an original work. Oh. You have to deliver it aloud in front of the class on Monday. Uh-oh. Bon chance, Not gentlemen. good for that one kid, huh? Mr. Anderson. Don't think that I don't know that this assignment scares the hell out of you, you mole. You mole? Oh, leave him alone. I guess he just doesn't like public speaking, but I feel like it's more than that. I don't know. It's interesting, though. Found it. I found what? What I wanted to right now. A Midsummer Night's Dream. I'm gonna be an actor. Ever since I can remember, I wanted to try this. Wow. I even tried to go to summer stock auditions last year, but of course my father wouldn't let me. But for the first time in my whole life, I know what I want to do. Wow. I'm gonna do it, whether my father wants me to or not. Carpe diem. Hey, but won't he kill you if he finds out you uh -oh. went to an audition and didn't even no, tell him? No, 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 no. As far as I'm concerned, he won't have to know about any of this. Why don't you just call him and ask him, and, and maybe he'll say yes. No, so he wow. will not. He will not. Absolutely not. <laughs> Nothing Mr. Keating has to say means shit to you, does it, Todd? What is that? You're in the club. Being in the club means being stirred up, I think. You look about as stirred up as a cesspool. Being in means you've got to do something, not just say you're in. You you say things and people listen. I'm, I'm not like that. Don't you think you could be? No. The, the point is that there's nothing you can do about it, so you can just butt out. Okay. No. Oh, okay. Guess not. No. Give me the uh, Neil. Neil, oh, give that no. back. Oh, no. What are you doing? I'm sure you see the camera. What and what this recorder keeps coming back. It's so funny. It's funny already that they're already kind of like changing, you know. In the beginning, they're very, oh, you know, very rich boy, very, oh, 
But they're definitely not like that. They really are just kids that can just do whatever they want. Uh, oh my god, there's so many geese! Oh my goodness. Wonder if this is the school where this where that girl is going to. Yep, called it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sorry, buddy. Should I have left for right now? Sport is actually a chance for us to have other human beings push us to excel. Oh, to struggle against great odds, to meet enemies undaunted. Sounds to me like you're daunted. Say it again like you're undaunted. Oh, oh to struggle against great odds, to meet enemies undaunted. Now go on! Yes! Oh, it's just kickball, okay. I thought it was freaking dodgeball. That would have been funny. This is so silly. Charlie, I got the part! Wow, good for him! They need a letter of permission from Father and Mr. Nolan. You're not gonna write it. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, that's I not gonna end very well, is it, you, huh? My son, Neil Perry. Ooh, this is not gonna end well. This is not this gonna is end crazy. well. To Chris, I see a sweetness in her smile. Bright light shines from her eyes. But life is complete. Contentment is mine. Just knowing that... <laughs> no. The cat set on the mat. <laughs> wow. I don't mind that your poem had a simple theme. Sometimes the most beautiful poetry can be about simple things, like a cat. He always has a lesson with everything, so that's nice. Mr. Anderson. I, I didn't do it. I didn't write a poem. I think you have something inside of you that is worth a great deal. Our Eric Yop. Yop? A yop is a loud cry or yell. Now, Todd, I would like you to give us a demonstration of a barbaric yop. Oh, God. Uh, a yop. No, not just a yop. A barbaric yop. Yop. Oh, that's a mouse. Come on, louder. Yop. Oh, good God, boy, yell like that. There it is. See? <laughs> Picture Uncle Walt up there. What does he remind you of? Don't think. Answer. A, a madman. What kind of madman? A sweaty tooth madman. Describe what you see. I, I close my eyes. Yes. And this image floats beside me. A sweaty tooth madman. And all the time he's mumbling. What's he mumbling? Uh, mumbling truth. Yeah, yeah. Truth like like a blanket that always leaves your feet cold. Tell me about that blanket. You you you, you, you push it, stretch it. It'll never be enough. You kick at it, beat it. It'll never cover any of us. From the moment we enter crying to, to the moment we leave dying, it'll just cover your face as you wail and cry and scream. That's pretty good! For me being right off the right off the bat, that was pretty good! Wow, good for him. How could how I Robert Williams is good at every fucking role he plays. I already said that, but he he is. My dad collects a lot of pipes. Really? Mine's got 30. I love how they all just have pipes. It's Poetrucy. so funny. Charles Dalton. <laughs> oh, no. Chaos screaming, chaos dreaming. Gotta do more, gotta be more! <laughs> so he knows how to play. Okay, good. That's good. Wow, very nice. That was oh, great. That was Where good. Like that? I can't take it anymore. If I don't have Chris, I'm gonna kill myself. Noxious. Oh my God. I'm gonna do something about that. Where are you going? Oh, wow. Okay. Where are you going? I want to call her. <laughs> yeah. oh, <laughs> She's going to hate me. Oh, my God. Carpe diem. Carpe diem. Even if it kills me. Hi, this is Knox Overstreet. Would Ooh. I like to come to a party? I I'll be there, Chris. Friday night at the Danbury's. Yup! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can you believe it? No grades at stake, gentlemen. Just take a stroll. I, I really do love how inve like interested and invested they are in this. There it is. You know? Left, 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 right, left. If you notice, everyone started off with their own stride, their own pace. I brought them up here to illustrate the point of conformity. The difficulty in maintaining your own beliefs in the face of others. But you must trust that your beliefs are unique, your own, even though others may think them odd or unpopular, even though the herd may go, that's bad. <laughs> I want you to find your own walk right now. You don't have to perform. Oh my Just God. make it for yourself. 
all the professors are just like, what is happening in this classroom? Hello? Who is this? <laughs> Meet uh, Gloria and... Tina. Tina. Guys, I have an announcement to make. I'm giving up the name Charles Dalton. From now on, call me Nuwanda. Nuwanda? Nuwanda? Hello? Hello, Chris? Fred. Why are you just looking at him? Hey, you my Sanders brother? No relation. Never heard of him. Sorry, guys. Where's our man, Steve? There's my Sanders brother. We don't oh, even offer him a drink. Here you go. Have some whiskey, pal. Yeah, I don't really know much. Oh, this is not going to be good. Oh, boy. Yeah, if you guys don't have a meeting, how do we know if we want to join? Join? Who, who are these ladies? What? Shall I compare <laughs> so these random. to Summer's Day? Oh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Is that Chris? Don't do anything stupid. Mm. Oh, don't do it. Don't do anything stupid. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Knox, what are you doing? No, you're right! Knox, are you alright? Chris, get the hell away from him! Ted, you heard him! Good! I'm sorry. Next time I see you, you die. Wow. Well, <sighs> There was no happy ending there. Definitely knew that was gonna not happen. I'd like to announce I published an article in the school paper in the name of the dead poets. What? Oh, Demanding no. Demanding girls be admitted to Welton. You did. Look, it's, it's over now. Why? Nobody knows who we are. Well, don't you think they're gonna figure out who wrote it? Dead poets. Uh, society. this guy's kind of being an Surely asshole no a little right bit. Do... This could mean trouble. You don't speak for the club. If they catch me, I'll tell them I made it up. Charlie, you fucked up. You fucked up, Charlie. Here we go. This week's issue of Wealth and Honor, there appeared a profane and unauthorized article. I'm asking any and all students who know anything about this article to make themselves known here and now. This is your only chance to avoid expulsion from this school. Hello? Wilton Academy, hello. Mr. Nolan, it's for you. It's God. He says we should have girls at Wilton. <laughs> oh, good lord. What is with him? I feel like all of a sudden he's just kind of a dickhead. Like, what is going on? Wipe that smirk off your face. Assume the position. Don't be supreme dickhead. Oh, my god. What? Oh, wow. I, wow. Okay. One. Jeez. Two. What is this dead poet society? I want names. Oh no. Jesus. What a freaking mess, huh? I'm to turn everybody in, apologize to school, and all will be forgiven. What are you gonna do? Charlie. Damn it, Neil. The name is Nuwanda. Wow, that uh that Excuse really me. sucks. That really sucks. Maybe we have a word, Mr. Keating. I have a feeling that uh, this guy knows that he was originally John. Did you know that? involved with the Dead Poets Society, so... I'm hearing rumors, John, about some unorthodox teaching methods in your classroom. I'm not saying they've had anything to do with the Dalton boys' outburst. What was going on in the courtyard the other day? That was an exercise to prove a point. Dangers of conformity. Well, John, the curriculum here is said it's proven it works. If you question it, what's to prevent them from doing the same? I always thought the idea of education was to learn to think for yourself. At these boys' age, not on your life. Tradition, John. Discipline. Ugh. I don't like this man. It was a pretty lame stunt you pulled today. What about carpe diem and sucking all the marrow out of life? Sucking all that? the marrow out of life doesn't mean choking on the bone. You being expelled from school is not daring to me. It's stupid because you'll miss some golden opportunities. Yeah, like what? Like, if nothing else, the opportunity to attend my classes. <laughs> Keep your head about you. That goes for the lot of you. Yes, yes Captain. Yes, Captain. Yes, Captain. <laughs> 
it's very interesting to see him be so excited about being an actor. Because you wouldn't expect that. Oh. Okay, I was like, what the hell is happening? Father. Oh, no! <laughs> Before you say anything, please let me... dare talk back to me. I'll drink later. Who put you up to it? Was it this new man, this, uh, Mr. Keating? No. Oh, my niece is in a play with your son, says Mrs. Marks. Oh, No, boy. no, no, I say, you must be mistaken. My son's not in a play. You go to them, and you tell them that you're quitting. No. No, I can't. I have the main part. The performance is tomorrow night. I don't care if the world comes to an end tomorrow night. You are through with that play. Is that clear? Man. Yes, sir. That is some bullshit. Oh. I made a great many sacrifices to get you here, Neil. And you will not let me down. He's getting all A's in his classes. What? Why not just have him in the damn play? Oh, I'm mad for him. Oh. It's open. I just talked to my father. He's making me quit the play at Henley Hall. Acting is everything to me. He's planning the rest of my life for me, and I, yeah. he, he's never asked me what I want. Hmm. If you were told your father what you just told me. I can't. Why not? I can't talk to him this way. I know this sounds impossible, but you have to talk to him. You have to show him who you are, what your heart is. He'll just tell me to put it out of my mind for my own good. Yeah. Oh, I feel so bad What about for him? the play? The show's tomorrow night. When do you have to talk to him before tomorrow night? Is there an easier way? No. Nope. Gotta face the beast head on. Oh, my God. Uh, I literally just went into the damn school. Oh. Knox, what are you doing here? I came to apologize for the other night. I brought you these and a poem I wrote for you. Just forget it. Oh. This poor kid. Oh, boy. Here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Chris, to touch her would be paradise. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> What'd she say? Nothing. Nothing? What do you mean, nothing? But I did. What, what did she say? Talk to your father. Uh, he, he didn't like it one bit. Yeah, really, I but bet. But at least he's letting me stay in the play. He well, that's make, good. Make it I think he's gonna let me stay with that thing. Really? You told him what you told me? I don't think yeah. he did. I don't think he did. Oh. He he'll be gone at least four days. I don't think he'll make the show. I think he'll let me stay with it. Keep up the schoolwork. <laughs> I don't, th I think he's lying. I don't think he talked to him. Chris. Uh-oh. I just found out, and it took everything I could do to keep him from coming here and killing you. Oh, boy. Knox, you have got to stop this stuff. I can't, Chris. I love you. Knox, I have to go. I'm going to be late for the play. Are you going with him? <laughs> Jeff, to a play? Are you kidding? Then come with me. You know what would happen if Jeff found out? Kill you. Know Dead. Twice over. Dead poet's honor. What is that? Oh, you know, just something. Uh, I am that merry wanderer of the night. I'm glad they're there to see him. That's so nice. Even modesty. Such separation as may well be said becomes a virtuous Oh, please. Uh, oh, I hope he doesn't mess up. He's gonna, though. Shit. What in the world? It, oh, okay. If we shadows have offended, think but this and all is mended, that you have but slumbered here while these visions did appear. So oh. good night unto you all. Give me your hands if we be friends, and Robin shall restore amends. I really thought he was gonna, he was gonna choke or something, you know? But good for him, good for him. Yup. <laughs> Oh uh, boy. Uh, come on, don't be a dickhead. Come on. You have the gift. What a performance. Cheating, you stay away from my son. That's so sad. Oh. What a dickhead. How dare he release a creative side into your son? How dare he? But my boy needs to be a doctor. Because I said so, not him. 
Well, hey, that's still the mindset of parents today with their children. Sad. It really is. I'm sorry, but the robes that they're wearing just remind me of Harry Potter. I love it. We're trying very hard to understand why it is that you insist on defying us. Oh, God. Tomorrow, I'm withdrawing you from Welton and enrolling you in Brayton Military School. You're going to Harvard, and you're going to be a doctor. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You have opportunities that I never even dreamt of, and I am not going to let you waste them. I've got them. to tell you what I feel. I've been so worried about it. Tell me what you feel. Come on, stand up for yourself. Come on. What Come is on. It? Is it more of this this acting business? Because you can forget that. Come on, Neil. Nothing. <sighs> Damn. That was good. That was really good. That's so sad. That is so sad. Oh my God. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, boy. I have no good feelings about this at all. <sighs> oh, no. Is it gonna be a gun? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Scared me. What's wrong? Oh no, oh no. Oh Neil. god, oh god, oh god. I saw the smoke. Oh my god. saw that coming. Fuck. Oh my god. Unfucking believable. Like, bro, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh. He was a fine student, and he will be missed. We've contacted each of your parents to explain the situation. Naturally, they're all quite concerned. Yeah, I I bet. <laughs> I intend to conduct a thorough inquiry into this matter. Well, what a fucking mess, man. Jesus Christ. Do you think for one moment they're going to let this thing just blow over? They need a scapegoat. What's going on, guys? You think, didn't you, Cameron? If a teacher asks you a question, you tell the truth, or you're expelled. Oh. They're not after us. Who are they after? Well, Mr. Keating, of course, the captain himself. Oh. Mr. Keating responsible for Neil? Is that what they're saying? Well, who else do you think, dumbass? If it wasn't for Mr. Keating, Neil would be cozied up in his room right now, studying his chemistry and dreaming of being called That doctor. is not true, Cameron. You know that. He didn't put us up to anything. The Neil loved dancing. Hey, believe what you want, but I say let Keating fry. Damn. I mean, why That's... ruin our lives? Wow. Oh, yeah. You can't save Keating, but you can save yourselves. <sighs> it's not even his fault. That sucks, man. Todd Anderson. No one was doing anything wrong. Like, nothing at all, you know? That's just because tradition and ooh, they have to play by the rules. You do admit to being a part of this dead bone society. Yes, sir. I have here a detailed description of what occurred at your meetings. It describes how your teacher, Mr. Keating, encouraged you boys to organize this club. Both in and out of the classroom, encouraged Neil Perry to follow this obsession with acting. When he knew obsession. all along it was against the explicit orders of Neil's parents. 
not... It was Mr. Keating's blatant abuse of his really? position as teacher that led directly to Neil Perry's death. No. Wow. They all signed it. If you have nothing to add or amend, sign it. Oh, my God. Sign the paper, Todd. Come on. Stand up for yourself, please. Glass. Oh. Raymond. Yeah. New teacher. <laughs> Who will tell me where you are in the printed textbook? Uh, well... We skipped around a lot, sir. What about the realists? I believe we skipped most of that, sir. <laughs> I wonder why. I came for my personals. Get them now, Mr. Keating. Gentlemen, turn to page 21 of the introduction. Read aloud the excellent essay on understanding poetry. That page has been ripped out, sir. Well, if I were somebody else's book. Well, it's all, all ripped out, sir. They're yeah, all ripped out. <laughs> what do you mean they're all ripped out? <laughs> Read. <laughs> understanding poetry by Dr. J. Evans Pritchard, PhD. If the poem score for perfection is plotted on the horizontal of a graph... Mr. The Keating, they made everybody sign it. Anderson. Mr. You gotta believe me, it's true. I do believe you, Tom. Leave, Mr. Keating. But it wasn't his fault. Sit down, Mr. Anderson. One more outburst from you or anyone else, and you're out of this school. Oh, <sighs> so upsetting, honestly. Captain, my captain. Sit down, Mr. Anderson. Oh. Go on. Okay. Get up. Do it. Do the same thing. Do it, do it, do it. Yes! No one's listening to you, old man. <laughs> Even the kid who didn't give a, give much of a shit. Yeah. Thank you, boy. Mm. I'm glad that they did that. That was cute. Oh. <laughs> oh, what a way to end, huh? Damn. Man, that was a lot, uh... Oh, boy. Alright, um... That was... Oh! Good lord. That was a lot heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Good god. Did not expect it to be as emotional as that was. I really didn't expect it. That was genuinely... That was upsetting. Wow, oh my goodness. I didn't really expect for this movie to turn out the way that it did, especially in the last, what, half an hour? If that, maybe even, maybe 40 minutes or so? No, that, it was all kind of like this build up a little bit. Even, it, it wasn't even a build up really. It was just like, you know, just showing what these guys were doing and them going from kind of just like oh you you would think that they were like the hoity-toity rich kids oh spoiled rich kids whatever but they really didn't end up being like that and I was pretty surprised and they went from you potentially thinking that they were like that to these kids these exactly these kids these these are kids who are put on like some sort of path probably by their parents to do great things when in reality they just like to be kids and they definitely all took a liking to at least the group the main group of of boys you know took a liking to poetry and the arts and and we saw that especially with neil and him just killing himself was just it was heartbreaking because it's like it was so preventable but yeah, you went from, you know, these kids who you had one thought about what they potentially may be like and it over the course of the movie turning into a group of boys who just really enjoyed uh, their English teacher and what he had to offer and everything. And then it just got to a point where, you know, that craziness happened with Neil and just oh god I I knew it I just I f immediately knew it when it was him in the room Neil and he had taken off his his shirt and he had opened the windows and I was just like yeah this is at very first thought I thought he was going to hang himself and and then I thought when he opened the windows he's gonna throw himself out the window and then he got the gun and it's like something was gonna happen and yeah once that gun came into play it's like. Fuck. Damn it. You know? 
again such a preventable thing and it was just all this pressure from his father and just like the disappointment of his father like all of that just it just broke him and that's completely understandable because this is just a case of someone who didn't they just didn't want to follow the path that their father set out for them he's not selfish for wanting something that isn't what his father set out for him to do he didn't care about what neil wanted and if neil maybe if he just said it instead of saying nothing at that point maybe things would be different but at the same time considering how like stubborn his father was maybe not and that's just upsetting and it was really interesting because in the beginning you kind of think like maybe this is like todd's story that's kind of the way that it was like presenting itself in a way and then it kind of just became oh it's just about this group it's not anyone in particular and then once the whole acting thing starts to happen it's neil's story and i like how they kind of just shifted like that a few people got like their kind of pieces here and there you have Knox with his whole storyline with the girl and then you have Todd with his own anxieties of speaking in public and speaking up for himself and then even like Charlie and his something that he was just going through whatever that was even you know uh, even at this point it's kind of just like where I guess he just maybe it's like some sort of newfound like freedom through the poetry or something i don't know i still don't really know and then you go to neil and that was like the biggest part was just his side of things and his experience and unfortunately his death and it's just so sad because all he wanted to do all he wanted to do was just do his own thing and he had every right to do it and it just is so it was just so shitty to see even after watching him perform that his father still didn't see it or maybe he did see it and he wasn't just he just didn't accept it you know what i mean like i, I maybe that might be it maybe he watched him on stage and did see that sort of happiness within him but it wasn't his plan it wasn't his father's plan for him and that but it heads with it and so he just shut it down because it wasn't his Thing that he was doing and it really sucked a lot and that really kind of just definitely knocked the wind out of me a little bit you know it's so unfortunate overall though this was this was very this was a very it was it was it was fun in a lot of ways because you you know you're it's the antics of these teenage boys right that's always fun to watch but also watching them appreciate something that you know you don't expect them to appreciate which in this case was poetry so that was fun to watch as well and then of course it hits you with the serious notes with the father being a total con control freak asshole and it really just that that hits and there's notes of that throughout the film and then again the climax with that whole scene it really kind of hit in some ways uh similar to goodwill hunting in terms of the emotional part and just like the tension even though there were funny and, and fun moments there were still these really tense and serious moments and so in some ways to me at least goodwill hunting and dead poet society kind of have similarities in that way it was a really it was a really good film overall and of course robin williams did fantastic i mentioned it twice right uh, he, <laughs> he's just good at any role that you give him and it was he was just really good he was just really good at what he did and i really liked it i really liked the film and i hope that each and every single one of you especially up to this point enjoyed the reaction to this movie if you did enjoy this video please feel free to like it and if you aren't already, please feel free to subscribe. If you did want to watch the full unedited reaction to this movie and to any of the other movies that I've seen, you can absolutely do so. You can do so on my Patreon. It is $5 a month for that. And to those of you who are already on my Patreon, I really do appreciate you so very much. Thank you so much for the support over there, and I hope you're enjoying your stay. If you did want to find me outside of YouTube, you can absolutely do so. You can find me pretty much anywhere at the OG Bojangles Twitter. Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. But I'm mainly on Twitch four days a week, Monday through Thursday at 6 p.m. EST. This was another 
kind of emotional roller coaster just like last Friday's film was and it was it was good it was a really good time just overall it was a very good film and everyone really did well with it and I just I, it was a lot <laughs> it was it was definitely a lot especially towards the end I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction I guess I'll see you all in the next reaction video okie dokie toodaloo adios and goodbye everybody Oh, oh, oh.